Good afternoon, everybody, or good morning. Um, two minutes, and uh, we start uh, our session. Okay, good morning or good afternoon, everybody, depending on where you are attending this session from. My name is Chiara Davalli and I'm project manager at EBN, the European Business Innovation Center Network. And uh, today I'm uh, moderating and uh, guiding you in this conversation with uh, my colleagues, I'd say uh, from uh, PQ Tech and uh, Porto Digital, Rodrigo Mendes and uh, Andre Araujo. Um, so before getting uh, starting, let's say uh, digging into into the actual content of uh, this uh, session, just a couple of uh, technical uh, comments or uh, indications. First of all, uh, um, I inform you that this session is recorded. So um, we'll, you will receive the recordings once we we'll, uh, uh, will be available, together with the presentations of, of all the speakers. Uh, secondly, in order to interact with us, I invite you to raise your questions in the dedicated chat box you have uh, um, in your um, panel, uh, control panel uh, of the GoToMeeting, uh, GoToWebinar platform. So feel free to raise questions and we'll take them uh, during the, 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 the presentations. As soon as speakers uh, have uh, finished, we are going to, to raise uh, the questions to them. Okay, so I think that that's it in terms of uh, logistics and uh, we, can, we can start. So the plan for this uh, one hour we are going to spend together is um, the following. I'm going to uh, tell you a little bit about uh, Enriching Brazil and the opportunities it offers uh, for European research, innovation and business actors uh, interested in the Brazilian landscape, but also vice versa for Brazilian actors interested in the European landscape. Then I'll give the floor to uh, the two soft landing hubs, Enriching Brazil soft landing hubs, Parque Tecnologico San José dos Campos and Porto Digital that will tell us more about uh, their organizations, uh, the, 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 the ecosystems in which uh, they, they are active and the support they can provide, the soft landing services they can provide to companies. And then we'll close with um, um, a focus session on 
an upcoming call for uh, grants for um, EU companies willing to work with the partners in third countries. And of course, Brazil is one of these uh, um, target countries. And uh, so I will tell you a bit in order to be ready for uh, the time when the call will open, that it's in less than one month, it will be the 1st of April. So in a nutshell, what is enriching Brazil and uh, how we can uh, help you uh, in uh, your internationalization activities, basically, of course, mainly those targeting uh, Brazil. Uh, first of all, you can see that the Enrich initiative is not only between Europe and Brazil, but there are other two centers today active, one with the US and another one with China. And uh, the scope, the objective and the type of services is more or less the same. Uh, the teams are slightly different, uh, so there are different uh, organizations involved uh, in the running of these centers but you can address in these, these three centers if interested in approaching these three uh, uh, markets and uh, let's say um, countries. Uh, the mission of Enriching Brazil is to encourage and facilitate cooperation, in research, technology and entrepreneurship between Europe and Brazil by supporting and empowering all innovation actors along the innovation value chain. So, um, we are here to really bridge actors between the two sides of the ocean and to um, facilitate connections because in the end it's really to find uh, the, 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 the key objective of our center is to help you find the right entry point to uh, Brazil or to Europe. And that's why, for example, we are here today and we are introducing you to of our partners. And then, of course, uh, beyond the connections, we also have services that help you identifying sectors, uh, identifying funding streams available to make this cooperation or these uh, indeed, uh, partnerships happening and, and so on. We have uh, physical premises in Europe and uh, in Brazil, especially we have two offices that allow us to be really present uh, on both sides of this uh, uh, dialogue. And uh, the way Enrich in Brazil works is really to uh, build and to, um, uh, to, to exploit, is not really a nice word, but uh, to make the most out of a community of uh, players, research, innovation and business players uh, in Europe and and Brazil. There are different ways of getting uh, involved in this community, either as pure beneficiaries of the services that the center offers, or for example, uh, applying to, uh, to be a service provider, meaning uh, an organization that can support the center in delivering the services that uh, uh, I was mentioning before, and I will uh, uh, better profile in a in a while. We also seek for organizations that are willing to work uh, um, on a peer-to-peer -peer level, let's say, so other uh, easy funded initiatives or platforms uh, together with uh, whom we want to really um, build bigger networks and uh, build on what already exists so without reinventing the wheel but partnering with those that already are offering some services that are offering uh, some uh, platforms and opportunities for uh, this uh, um, uh, match happening between Europe and Brazil and last but not least uh, the soft landing hub category that it's what we are going to uh, mainly address today. So as I was telling you, Enriching Brazil aims at give you access, easy access, let's say, to either Brazil or Europe. And to do so, we are looking and then uh, accrediting trusted organizations that can offer uh, soft landing services to European and Brazilian companies. So really, hubs 
that can offer incubation services uh, in order for you to get introduced to this ecosystem. Uh, in order to join the community, you can uh, first uh, have a look at our website. There is a dedicated area called community. And from there, you, are, you can be redirected to the profile that best fits uh, your organization. As I was telling you, a bit more of emphasis on uh, the service uh, providers and the enrich in, in Brazil soft lending hubs. So those organizations that help this center delivering services and making uh, uh, these connections happen. Because indeed, we don't want to invent uh, or we don't want to build a huge organization with hundreds of employees, but we rather prefer to build a strong network of trustees that uh, can uh, indeed be signposted by us to um, European companies or Brazilian companies in order to get the best service, the best, the best uh, um, answer to their needs. Organizations, so all organizations that offer services uh, in terms of uh, market uh, studies, in terms of consultancy, legal, uh, um, yes, legal advice, uh, but also incubation and so on, can contact us, get in touch with us in order to understand how to um, to work together. Uh, the Enriching Brazil experience actually builds on six main pillars that are basically way is an easy way to um, profile the type of services uh, you can expect from this center. So they get informed, they get connected, they get funded, they get going, get visible and get advice pillars. Um, under each pillar, there are different set of services that indeed go from uh, the, 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 the uh, definitions or um, better uh, development of guidelines and studies on, uh, for example, key priority cooperation area between areas between uh, Europe and Brazil, uh, matchmaking and networking opportunities, then the funding opportunities, so finding the right partners, uh, understanding the funding uh, um, schemes available both in Europe and Brazil, and uh, for example, uh, pitching workshops, pitching uh, uh, sessions uh, for uh, for participants to get uh, in contact either with investors or uh, relevant partners. The get going is the soft landing dimension that we are going to, 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 uh, to see and better understand through the concrete cases of Porto Digital and PQ Tech today. The get visible, it's also about uh, uh, getting visibility, uh, getting marketing support, uh, uh, business development and consultant services, and plus the get advice, so the one-to-one -one, uh, type of services about IPR, legal support, and so on. Here are just a few, of it, a few examples. It's already more than one year that we offer these services, and uh, in Europe and in Brazil. And we are going to uh, have more of these services now in 2019. So here you see in this uh, slide the, the provisional calendar, but this will be updated uh, on a regular basis. And uh, uh, you can find the, 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 the final dates, uh, the, the, the final version of all these services on our website that is updated very often. And uh, <clears throat> in any case, I think it's a very good overview of what type of services you can expect from us in the coming months. And of course, you have um, the full service catalog available online, so you can download it and check uh, the details. So I stop here because I think now the, 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 the most important thing is to hear from uh, the two accredited soft lending uh, hubs we, we have in Enrich in Brazil. In order to become uh, soft lending hubs, these organizations went through um, a light assessment 
that allowed us to check indeed the availability of certain services, the quality of these services, and also the way these organizations are connected to the uh, local and national innovation ecosystem. So that these are, so this happens through two main channels. One is a self-assessment questionnaire that is done online, but then we also have an on-site visit. In this case, it was me going uh, to, to visit both organizations. That is the opportunity for, for us and for these organizations to know each other, to set expectations, and also to, um, to see how to make the most about this, uh, uh, this opportunity. So I'm really happy to uh, give them the floor now and uh, let them uh, explain you who they are, where they are, so what is the ecosystem in which they act, and what is the offer that uh, they can propose you um, if interested in approaching uh, their ecosystems. And just one last comment is that uh, um, of course, uh, these organizations are located in specific areas of Brazil, uh, the Northeast, in the Southeast, but uh, uh, these organizations are also very well placed in the overall Brazilian research innovation ecosystem and so can help you get connected to further uh, organizations beyond their catchment area. But I will let, I let them uh, explain this. So, <clears throat> Thank you very much for, for, for the moment. I shut up as I was telling you and I would give the floor to um, Rodrigo Mendes from uh, PQ Tech. If you have any question, as uh, mentioned before, please uh, email, uh, write it down in the, in the chat. Okay. All right, thank you, Chiara. Uh, I hope everybody's uh, listening to me. Um, yes, we can hear you. Okay, great. Um, that's okay. Uh, well, first of all, thank you, Chiara. It's a pleasure to, to be here uh, and talk to you about uh, the social that's come to Techno Park. Uh, we we are one of the soft learning hubs in Brazil, as Chiara already told you, and I'll try to uh, show you a little bit of what we do here and uh, how we are positioned. Uh, we are uh, 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 in the São Paulo state. We are very close to the city of São Paulo and. Uh, our region is one of the most developed regions in the in Brazil, uh, especially in technology, and it goes way back to the 40s, uh, when the Air Force created uh, the Technology Development Center uh, for the Air Force uh, in the region. And since that, we became one of the most, uh, or the the main uh, aerospace hub uh, in Brazil. Uh, we have most of the aerospace companies uh, located in our region. And that's actually the legacy uh, where it all begins. Uh, so in the 50s, we have the ITA, which is the Aerospace Technology Institute one of the most uh, advanced engineering school for aeronautics. Uh, we are at home of Embraer, uh, all the, uh, the national research, uh, the Space Research Institute, uh, all the activities regarding uh, space uh, satellite development, uh, also some uh, defense programs and systems. And of course, Embraer and the uh, aeronautics and aircraft uh, uh, industry. It's mainly in our region. And that's uh, the first wave of technology development of the region. So uh, in the second moment, we created a technology park, 
which was an initiative from the city of San Jose Luis Campo, the local government, to uh, give more competitiveness to the companies and then uh, foster the development of the region. Uh, and that was in 2007. So now uh, we are about 12 years old and we are mainly uh, developed with SMEs, companies, startups. We have the Brazilian Airspace Cluster, and I'll talk a little bit more about that, the ICT uh, Cluster, uh, and also some uh, other activities and programs that on uh, overall, uh, we are almost 400 companies connected to the techno park uh, and working together in R&D projects and innovation projects in the city and in the region. Uh, so we do that uh, with a set of uh, partners and activities. We have our uh, corporate and business centers where SMEs are located and developing their technologies. We have uh, shared laboratories that some of them are owned by us, Technopark, some of them are owned by uh, research institutes, others uh, by uh, companies or universities, and they are all shared in our facilities, in our environment. Uh, the clusters to get market strength for companies, all the business incubator, uh, the real estate developed uh, surrounding areas, uh, the technology development center. So all these set of activities make us an innovation uh, hub and platform to connect business uh, and startups and, and, and help the, the entrepreneurs to develop their, their, their businesses. Uh, our main, uh, oh, maybe our, our most advanced cluster, is the Brazilian Airspace Cluster. And we have about 110 associated companies and the focus as uh, a cluster is to help even they are uh, competitors to work together uh, and improve their business development, their competitiveness in national and international markets. So we have a set of activities to help these companies Many of them are suppliers from Embraer, some others are uh, space uh, companies. Uh, we have also in the defense sector some initiatives and companies, but we put together not just the companies, but the research institutes and other partners uh, in, in, in a way that we, have, uh, we can help them to, to develop new technologies, new products and services, uh, and go worldwide with these uh, activities. So most of the uh, companies, uh, some of them are very well known. Some of our big ones, uh, Embraer is our uh, main company, of course, but we have some uh, other big companies from many countries, including uh, Europe. Uh, we are also uh, this, the, the the place where uh, Boeing uh, Laboratories and, and, and Innovation uh, Office is in Brazil, and we also are, have a, a a laboratory and advanced office of the Airbus Airbus Defense uh, in in Brazil. So uh, we are one of the few places in the world that you can have the three biggest uh, aeronautic companies uh, with offices and in some cases working together. So that's a very special place to be uh, when we're talking about uh, aerospace technologies. Well, we do have some partners, uh, strategic ones in, in, uh, in the government to help the companies and, and to be a, a, a tool of uh, a, a, public policy on industrial development so we have uh, partnerships in the with the export and international promotion uh, agency in brazil which is called apex we go to uh, trade fairs globally we have go to uh, we have business missions and, and, and a lot of activities funded by apex to help the companies also uh, 
to give more competitive and development to the companies with the Brazilian agents of industrial developments and the National Development Bank and so many other uh, institutions that uh, are part of our cluster in order to help the, the, the company. So we are very well connected. If you are a company in the aerospace uh, sector and you want to connect with any institution or any uh, partner in Brazil, uh, we definitely are the institution to, to, that can help you to do that. So uh, you can count on us. And in this area, we have many capabilities and now all the companies that we are working with. Of course, we have uh, the aircraft, uh, also helicopters, uh, and all the systems and technologies within uh, the aerospace uh, uh, industry. We have companies developing uh, and doing products from uh, space equipment to uh, missiles, weapons, and flight simulators, and so on. Uh, but we are also uh, uh, home of uh, ICT cluster, and the cluster is uh, focused on main uh, information communication technologies uh, that's the aerospace it's more a brazilian cluster because we represent the whole brazil in these activities uh, but the ict is more regional uh, cluster and it's now divided into four uh, verticals that we work which are smart cities uh, agri-tech uh, industry uh, and wholesale so we have uh, about 80 companies, uh, most of them SMEs, developing uh, technologies and, and products in these four verticals. And we help them to connect to the market, test their products, uh, and so on. And because we are in this very synergetic environment, we help and we connect these companies, not only uh, with their own uh, industry and clients but we try to make uh, a mix so from time to time we have uh, business meetings from aerospace companies and ict companies so they can work together and develop new products and new systems and then also uh, the nexus innovation hub which is uh, uh, another program of the park and that's actually where the e-reach soft learning hub happens uh, this is our incubator and accelerator program from the tech part, where all these startups and, 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 and companies that are developing new products and services are located. And probably our uh, main activity to connect uh, with European companies and uh, help Brazilian startups to access um, markets the, it's the main program for entrepreneurs we work from idea to consolidation and uh, also to uh, scaling up and exponential growth and going to market and going global and we have a set of activities in the nexus from idea in nexus lab and the nexus growth is the program where we have uh digital which is our accelerator program for uh, business models that innovate on the business model itself and are fast growing digital companies and we have the nexus growth which is the incubator of technology-based startups where the innovation is on a product or a service and that's different when you work with a digital company uh, that's uh, fast scaling up uh replicating the technology and with a, a technology based startup where you have uh to set the physical product develop uh, a whole new technology and so we separate these two concepts and we work with them in a tailor-made mo model of uh, helping them once they pass through this process we have the scale up which is uh, for startups with traction already on the market and we will scale them up from uh, the, uh, to get the Brazilian market, Latin American market and also worldwide. Uh, and to help and connect all these uh, four first programs, we have 
the two more which next nexus corp and nexus global and i'll talk a little bit more about them uh so this is a, a picture of the program the whole program from uh, ideation in a co-working facility uh, to validate your idea of business until uh, you scaling up and going to market and receiving a VC fund uh, and, 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 and scaling up. So that's the, the idea. We are now uh, about 120 companies in this process from ideation to uh, scaling up businesses. So that's basically Nexus program. It's just some of our startups, and I'll just pass this slide, so I won't take too long in my presentation. We are partners, of course, with eReach uh, as a soft landing hub in Brazil. We are also partner of uh, Samsung Creative Startups program uh, with the Korean government. We have partnership with Amazon. We have partnership with Microsoft and Protect, which is the Brazilian uh, Association of Science and Technology Parks. Uh, and programs uh, in, in business incubation and also some other programs that we have uh, a partnership to, to to help our companies so uh, as i mentioned the nexus corp is a way of connecting startups with consolidated companies in acceleration the innovation process for the companies and that we do that with uh, local uh, and regional uh, big industries connecting them uh, searching for uh, their uh, challenges and we put these challenges for our startup and our business companies SMEs in the Nexus program so they can uh, create a solution for these companies. Uh, we already uh, had some of these uh, program with these uh, companies, Bosch, Embraer, uh, General Motors and uh, Johnson and, and, and some other from uh, the region. And it's been very interesting. We had eight, eight sets of uh, the Nexus Corp. Uh, and we have a lot of companies uh, connecting to startups, developing new products, opening markets to new solutions when we do this approach. And uh, some interesting cases, some spin offs that came out of, of this process. Like we have one company from GM that it started with a group of students. They developed a solution in the General Motors uh, challenges. They became a startup. Now they are in Brazil and they are opening next week uh, an office in the US serving uh, the General Motors factory in Detroit. So that's uh, one, one, one actually uh, interesting. Uh, case and of course we have the Nexus Global which is our main objective here uh, is the program to uh, connect Brazilian market and Brazilian startups with the global market and global startups and that's our international support for companies uh, and we have a structured set of services to help companies that want to come to Brazil and Latin America uh, with a soft landing program uh, to help them to structure their uh, connections and networking and finding clients and, and, and partnerships in Brazil. And in the same way, we have a smart takeoff program <clears throat> where we help our startups and our companies to achieve uh, uh, or to connect to other markets through uh, science parks and, and, and business incubators and accelerators, just like us that we have a partnership uh, globally. Uh, but also, uh, we work with these companies, finding them uh, business partners. We do some research, uh, market research, to help these companies to access their markets as well. So uh, some of the support, we have a co-working space where the startups can uh, stay and work. Uh, <clears throat> we do. Uh, a lot of connections and, and networking opportunities through a lot of events, weekly events, meetups, uh, and talks we we have uh, in the park with all the entrepreneurs, companies, and startups. As I mentioned, we do some uh, B2B meetings, uh, connecting our clusters and our supported companies 
So once a month we have this big meeting for B2B businesses through our all the, the, the resident and associated companies. So it's a lot of knowledge exchange and connection. We have support on development. Uh, if, if you need uh, a, a certain uh, capability or activity or process, we will connect you with uh, service suppliers that will help you to develop a product. Also, we have uh, a lot of uh, business consulting uh, with subsidized fee for the companies that participate in our program. We have our own office of property, intellectual property, and we, we, we help the companies with uh, patent issues and, and uh, any, any, any issue regarding intellectual property. We have fundraising. We have a, a, a set in a network of business angels uh, with the park and also some VC funds that we connect our companies with. Uh, from time to time, we have demo days uh, with uh, these uh, investors. And also, we search opportunities like the one uh, Kiara was telling us today, the Innovite, uh, and we uh, show the, the, the companies these opportunities and help them to uh, get to fund for their development products and all these services are connected with the soft lending program for the companies that come uh, to Brazil. And then we go to financial marketing uh, and uh, market research, especially for the companies that are coming and don't understand Brazilian or the Latin American market. So uh, we have our specialists that will help you to uh, understand how Brazilian quite complicated we know that and uh, not even Brazilians sometimes don't understand that <laughs> so it's very complicated for foreign companies and we help them also uh, with that so uh, I'm finishing up here this is just a picture of our new uh, co-working space just uh, opened about two months ago we have now about 20 companies sharing this uh, this co-working space uh, and well that's it thank you very much there's my contacts and all the our team uh, and it's a pleasure to talk to you if you have any questions i'm available uh, afterwards thank you very much thank you rodrigo um um, there are no questions for the moment on the chat. I have a question uh, myself. If a company that is not in these uh, the sectors you were mentioning, the aerospace or the ICT, do you still provide support to them? Uh, it's uh, or or would you relocate them or address them to someone else? Uh, how would it work? Oh yeah. Uh these are the main uh, sectors and the, the the big sectors that we work with but we are not uh we are multi-sector uh space so we also have medical equipment health uh, uh companies mm -hmm. we have oil and gas companies uh we have a very big uh energy industry in the region we also mm -hmm. have the automotive like i uh, mentioned GM, the, the General Motors uh, factory, is in San Jose Campos and all the, the, the supply chain of the automotive industry. We have um, also some Chinese car factories uh, in, in the city, in the region. So uh, we, have, we are very uh, all big and developed region. So we, uh, we, we focus on these two markets because they are the most developed ones in the, in the region. But they are not exclusive. Uh, if you are, of course, there are places in Brazil that have more uh, connection to some uh, uh, sectors. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's a, a biotech company, we don't have that expertise in biotech. So we will direct you to some of our partners and some cities that are more uh, developed in this area, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, and but we can help you with that as well. Okay, great. 
Thanks. Okay, so to bridge now your presentation with the next one, so you already see the Porto Digital first slide on, uh, on your screen, uh, there is a question. I, it's for both of you. If your organizations have projects regarding lightweight design, if so, there would be a Brazilian researcher that is based in Germany working on this topic and uh, is looking for partners and things like that. So is lightweight design uh, in your, uh, is one of the sectors areas uh, you can support? Uh, yes, we actually, I didn't mention that, but we have uh, in, uh, in the tech park, we have the lightweight structure laboratory from the, uh, <laughs> uh, the Sao Paulo Technology Institute. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a partnership with Embraer and in the development, testing, and uh, research on light structure, uh, composites, new materials in any applications from uh, energy and wind power to aerospace and uh, uh, automotive. So uh, mm -hmm. we are very directly link to the light structure so okay uh, so Vinicius uh, <laughs> if you didn't take uh, note of uh, um, of Rodrigo's contact details uh, I can send them to you but you will receive his uh, presentation so but he's already saying he's going to send you an email soon okay so I now uh, give the floor to Andrea Rauja from Porto Digital to uh, tell us about indeed uh, the services ecosystem in Recife, uh, their services, and again, what are the opportunities for you uh, uh, with uh, with Porto Digital? Uh, hello, uh, it's Andrea here. It's nice talking to you. Uh, let me give you a, br a brief explanation of what, of what Porto Digital is. Uh, we are a bit different than the usual technology part because we are open and we are uh, literally in the middle of the city. We are actually in the oldest part of uh, Recife, which is a 500-year-old city uh, in the northeast of Brazil. And uh, we are scattered in the narrow streets of this old part of town, which we call Old Recife, by the way. So we were born uh, 18 years ago. Uh, our idea was to create a world-class cluster uh, more focused on IT and software. Uh, today, we also encompass a creative economy companies as well, and we also uh, give support to uh, a wide range of companies from games to cinema, uh, movies, uh, video and music producing, as well as the IT sector. At the same time, uh, we aim to change uh, the landscape of the city with uh, the companies. Uh, we are, uh, let's say, uh, what we call a triple helix uh, example of a cluster uh, in which we have a uh, very, uh, let's say, uh, smooth interaction between the government, the, the university, the, the academia, and the industry. Uh, and. Uh, as so, we have uh, managed to grow in a very uh, interesting way in these 18 years. I'll show you uh, a bit more further. Uh, we are located in this area of the city, uh, which is the port area and uh, some uh, neighborhoods uh, around it. Uh, and like I said, we are the, the result and we are a product of uh, uh, we are what we call a cluster uh, since we have a very limited space. Uh, we have a limited space, a del delimited space, and uh, the uh, participation of the university, the several universities and uh, uh, education institutions, the government, both in the, uh, in the municipality and also in the state government, and also the market, the companies. Uh, we have grown uh, like this in our history. Uh, when we started, we only had two companies in 2000. Now we have, this is a net number uh, of, uh, by the end of uh, last year, we had 
316 companies here, uh, ranging from uh, small to large companies, local and global, and uh, almost 20% linked to the creative economy that I've told you before. Uh, we have around uh, 10,000 people in the cluster uh, uh, with a joint uh, revenue, year revenue from uh, around $500 million a year. We have renovated a lot of space in the, this old area of town and we are aiming to double size uh, the number of companies, the number of people working here and also uh, the, the, the revenue uh, in five years. So we, uh, this slide is a bit, uh, I think the title of it is a bit uh, of a controversy since we say main area of expertise and we have like dozens of them. Uh, we have, we actually have companies that work in all these markets ranging from uh, pure AI companies that work with neural uh, networks, pattern recognition, applied to everything you would think of. Uh, we go for, from there to education companies using IT, data analytics companies, energy, uh, Uber mobility, and we go uh, further until we have design and fashion and uh, sound and music and games comp game companies. So we really have no thesis. Uh, we are very diverse, and this is one of our major strengths as, as a park. Here, uh, you can see some companies that uh, are within our cluster. Uh, if you look in the middle, you see some very uh, famous companies like uh, Fiat Chrysler, Unilever, Uber, uh, IBM. Uh, but this player is all in, in this player in Accenture, of course, they, they are made the main site in Brazil is located here in Porto Digital. They have over uh, uh, 2,500 uh, people uh, uh, working in their unit here at Porto Digital, and they aim to double it in the next two or three years. Uh, but these players only came here after we had this diverse ecosystem. Uh, around, around these companies, you see uh, a wide range of uh, companies working from ERPs to uh, marketing, uh, location-based marketing technologies to uh, uh, traffic management systems, security systems, neural networks, uh, security, and hacking. Uh, actually, uh, we have here a connection with São José dos Campos uh, of our friend Rodrigo. Since Tempest Security Intelligence is a company that was invested by Embraer, which is, I would say, the, the company that started uh, the, the whole ecosystem in in in, uh, in São José dos Campos. Correct, if, correct me if I am wrong, Rodrigo. Uh, we have a lot of R&D institutions and uh, unities here in, in Recife at Porto Digital. Uh, some from those big companies like Accenture and Fiat Chrysler. Actually, the only software development center in uh, automotive software uh, for Fiat Chrysler is located here. We also have the Instituto Senai, which is a new institution that's bringing in a lot of lots of people here. And uh, we also have Cesar, which is uh, an innovation center, an ICT uh, that's uh, completely devoted to innovation, it has over 500 people. Uh, uh, it's a non-profit, but they do have a revenue around 100 million reais a year. Um, and they are a very strong player within the ecosystem, I would say an anchor. We have lots of partnerships here, and we should say we should add Enrich here in this slide as well. I'm sorry about that, Kiara. Uh, but uh, we do uh, value our partnerships, and they range from the, let's say, from state level here in Brazil and in the city to uh, partnerships al along with the European Union and uh, the DIT and the British Council in the UK, Business France. Uh, and lots of other players uh, that uh, help foster our connections and business possibilities. 
have been long recognized as a, a tech park with, uh, with lots of uh, realizations and uh, uniquenesses. uniquenesses. Uh, and uh, I would like to point this slide uh, in which we are, we, we actually were featured in this book by this uh, prof professor from, and, and researcher from Berkeley in which uh, they, we actually have a chapter in this describing our, his, our history as a, as a tech park and the way that we make innovation and generate innovation uh, was uh, featured in this book uh, and we were uh, part of his research and compared to these other cities which is quite flattering since we are a city in the northeast of Brazil which is uh, more known as a tourist area than uh, a place linked to knowledge and, and innovation, which we do, we, which we do have. Uh, I would say a gravity center is the startups and entrepreneurs uh, because we need them to keep growing and uh, we invest a lot in those. We have a very vibrant and collaborative community of startups and entrepreneurs here. Uh, and we are uh, connected to the whole entrepreneurship and startup uh, scene in Brazil. We also we are also uh, strengthening our network of investors. We have a growing network of angel investors from the, angel investors from the community, and we have an interesting presence of VC funds and uh, for several maturity and revenue sizes of companies here. Uh, as for entrepreneurship, we have lots of uh, uh, action and mechanisms, mechanisms around. Uh, we have uh, some connected to the uh, to the university, like the Peach Ideation Lab. Uh, we have we I, we have this we have this co -work, little co working space here in our uh, premises, but we have over. Uh, five or six different co-working spaces in the island of uh, Old Recife today with over a thousand people working. We have uh, three business incubators and four business accelerators here. Uh, we also have labs available both for creative economy and, uh, and for hardware prototypation uh, available uh, for a very uh, small cost, uh, actually subsidized cost for all entrepreneurs and companies. And we also have a pre-incubation program which is scaling with, uh, with, uh, with, with all, uh, let's say throughout the whole state of Pernambuco in the northeast of Brazil to generate more new, new companies and bring them to our cluster, which is also what we're doing here. We want you to bring your companies to us. We have a soft landing uh, partnership with several other parks, and also with Enrich. Uh, when you are when you have your company at Porto Digital, uh, we also facilitate uh, your connections with other tech parks in other parts of Brazil. And we have uh, an open innovation initiative, with this, which is a let's say a cluster size uh, open innovation program which links the demands and problems uh, and future uh, necessities of big companies with the whole of the ecosystem, which is what we call OIL, the Open Innovation Lab. So we have already done it with companies like Unilever and uh, public sector organizations such as the, uh, local, the state market. Uh, we also connect uh, our, our ecosystem to the whole of the city and the whole of Brazil with a, since this is the week of the South by Southwest conference, uh, I would say it's pretty similar. We, 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 we do it in the second semest semester, uh, actually this year is going to be, it's going to be in the, from October the 2nd to the 5th. Uh, and. Uh, and we have uh, we had over uh, fourteen thousand people visiting us uh, last year, uh, and we hope to have over three thirty thousand people this year in this event. So uh, I'm going to jump now to the other presentation. I'm not over. 
I'm going to talk about the soft landing uh, uh, proposal that we have for you. The idea here is to uh, is to uh, convince you to come to Porto Digital, and uh, we we think uh, we have we are very uh, global. Uh, we always think globally when we do things. We always think uh, about connections. We always think about culture, culture, global culture, local culture, locally, and. Uh, we we uh, devised a way to have your company here uh, by by bringing in and integrating you to our culture, trying to uh, make connections for your company within not only Porto Digital but in the whole Brazilian ecosystem. Uh, from there, we move on to look into market positioning we look into uh, helping helping the helping the companies to uh, navigate within our legal and accountancy uh, uh, specificalities which are very uh, tough to follow and we, we do help you out with that and we can do it all uh, that I said before in a very very tailored way for, so, as I said, we have we have all this structure at, at Porto Digital uh, with a very interesting infrastructure. Uh, we have some uh, some uh, testimonials from big companies and also from Kiara, which is uh, one of our uh, friends and help, it's helping us out with this. Uh, we have a very interesting infrastructure here at Porto Digital with over 30, 31 business centers, 22 lab, labs, two showrooms, two auditoriums, four training rooms, four business accelerators, three incubators, and four, actually five at the moment, because we have a new one which was inaugurated this year, co-working spaces. Uh, uh, I've told you about a, a lot about some of these uh, relevance and why we are the IT, preferred IT hub in the North, the north northeast of Brazil and one of the uh, most recognized uh, IT hubs in the, in Brazil. We also, as I said, we have lots of innovation centers. We have this, we have over 600 events a year. We also have this strong startup community, and we also have uh, very interesting education institutes uh, and organizations around here. This is the location of Recife. We are a regional hub with very interesting uh, possibilities around and markets to be uh, to be looked for. Uh, we ha we have direct connections not only uh, to the whole of Brazil but the but Europe and the US uh, with straight uh, direct flights. We are in the middle of the city. This changes everything. We are not located in the outskirts of town. Uh, we are we are the heart of the city and uh, we value that a lot. We are a very nice place as far as tourist goes as well, code in terms of culture, in terms of quality of life and everything else. I love this beach as well. Uh, uh, and uh, I'd like to talk about uh, what we do for your com the companies that are here. We have a very simple uh, plan for companies that starting to think of coming over. And we do a very simple uh, and initial market report and uh, let's say a very simple, uh, uh, let's say very simple assessment to what would what would happen? Uh, what, what would it cost to come over here and support you with that? And we can do more, and we can expand to adding legal and accounting advising, uh, looking into fiscal and government regulation for your specific market, and we also would do cultural training and integration. 
adding to that we could uh, we can also add market mentoring fast tracking uh, and uh, personalized go-to-market support with a specialized uh, consultant help, helping your company out and we would also look for an office if you'd like to stay in one of our co-working spaces we could happily place you place you there or we could fetch an office for you and even customize it for you these costs are uh, let's say uh, references we can devise it in a very specific and careful way uh, and customized for your uh, specific status and strategy but this is a very good reference uh, it looks cheap because it is cheap because we are not looking to make money out of that we want your company here and we do it at cost because we like to have your companies uh, working with us and, and here in Porto Digital so uh, that's it I'm available for questions uh, Chiara please feel free to take over okay thank you thank you very much Andre thanks a lot for the overview about Porto Digital the services conditions uh, the ecosystem uh, I must say I've been uh, as I was telling you at the beginning uh, both in um, Recife and San Jose and uh, these two organizations are really uh, two great starting points, I think, for European companies willing to uh, enter the, the, the Brazilian uh, market and landscape. Um, I have a question, uh, and then we jump into the last part of the, the, the webinar. I promise uh, it will take me five minutes and you will uh, see also why. My question for you, Andre, is, one, is, is this one. You were mentioning some open innovation uh, the Open Innovation Lab, uh, uh, the OIL program. I was wondering if this type of programs are open also for companies coming from Europe, for example. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it, could, it, it could happen, uh, let's say, in both sizes of the program. If you have a larger company that wants to tap into our capabilities, mm -hmm. we could do it. Uh, oh. There's a cost to that, but mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, I, I can assure you, it's 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 it's, it's very. Uh, uh, we do a lot. We we have a, a let's say we have some phases in the program in which we we try to interpret uh, to interpret uh, the uh, let's say the problems and the the challenges that are faced into into. Uh, let's say proposals to the ecosystem and the mm -hmm. ecosystem gives back uh, uh, let's say gives back possible prototypes that can be turned into so in full blow scale solutions uh, and uh, let's say for companies that want to come over here if they are big and want to tap into the ecosystem we can do an oil a specific oil track for this Okay. And if and if we have companies that want to settle into Porto Digital, they are instantly, uh, let's say, they are instantly invited to participate uh, and to also to be a part of the ecosystem when a big company comes and bring in their challenges. Mm. Okay, so there's no a separate track, for example, for a European company. So, of course, you will have the dedicated support you were mentioning before, but then they can enjoy and can benefit from the, let's say, standard offer or the, uh, the yes, indeed, the ongoing offer, Port Digital offers to its incubatees and its community. Everything, everything. That's what, they, that's what we want. We want to be as diverse as we can. Mm -hmm. uh, and we do it in, in as global as possible, uh, and, and that would be very that, that would be uh, 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 let's say uh, a complete success to this uh, mm -hmm. partnership with Enrich to have these companies participating in our uh, open innovation programs as one of the companies of the ecosystem. And I would like to point out this again. Uh, 
when you are in Porto Digital, when you are like let's say when you have boarded at Porto Digital as a company, you are entitled to participate in everything that we do mm -hmm. as a Porto Digital company. So uh, that and this is our goal with this. We want your company, your companies. We want the enrich companies here with us. Okay. And so they will benefit from everything, everything that we have here. Not only oil, but any other initiative yeah. that is aimed by the park to the companies that we do to the, for the companies, they would be entitled to participate and to have everything. Okay, thank you, Andrea. I think the message is clear. Okay, so um, give me five minutes to uh, tell you about. Uh, another instrument uh, that I think it's very, very interesting and it's kind of complementing what has been said so far. So Enriching Brazil offers you, as we were telling you, connection, qualitative connections, uh, trusted partnerships, uh, uh, so intro trusted introductions, I would say, to possible partners and so on. And now with InnoWide, I introduce you a funding instrument that uh, is going to be launched in less than uh, one month time in uh, three weeks and that can uh, uh, facilitate this connection to happen because we know that uh, sometimes money is still uh, uh, so many times are, are kind of influencing our decisions so here it's uh, a good uh, I think uh, uh, tip and opportunity to consider I will go quite quickly through these slides because we'll have a dedicated workshop uh, uh, webinar on this uh, specific uh, topic and funding opportunity in a couple of weeks time i have uh, the, the 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 link at the end of this presentation but at least you can start thinking about it because uh, uh, you can start uh, uh, thinking about uh, uh, potential partners, uh, the market you want to tackle, the sector, and what you can do with uh, the money the InnoWide uh, program uh, offers European companies and their partners in third countries. And uh, so be prepared uh, for, uh, for the time when the call will be out. And also to take the, the biggest advantage possible of the upcoming webinar, uh, raising questions because you already have an idea of uh, what do you need to to know that uh, you need to clarify and so on. So in a wide um, is uh, an EC funded program that intends to bring European highly innovative SMEs to the forefront of international markets. And to do so, we are opening two calls that will allow these companies to conduct viability assessment projects in cooperation with local stakeholders. So stakeholders, players in uh, third countries, so outside Europe. The program, this is a very important uh, aspect, uh, follows a bottom-up approach. So we don't uh, set uh, any specific topic to be addressed. It's up to you to propose what you want to do with the money that the program makes available to you. Uh, the partnership, uh, it's also interesting because we are uh, 11 partners. Most of the partners are funding agencies, national funding agencies, plus there are two networks such as Eureka and EBN that uh, um, are indeed helping with uh, the dissemination part. And we also have a couple of companies like SPI that can help with the market search and the partnering part. Uh, the in a wide call for uh, VAPs therefore aims to create the conditions to increase the uptake of European innovative solutions in market outside Europe of Europe. What does it mean? So we are going to launch two calls uh, distributing basically a total budget of seven to one million euro. This budget is distributed basically uh, through 120 uh, VAPs. Each VAP will receive a grant of 60,000 euro, of course, if selected. And uh, the important thing is that these projects target markets of developing countries, large emerging economies, and developed countries. So it's really uh, following the Moedash, or uh, open to the world, 
uh, therefore encouraging European companies to work with and in uh, new markets outside uh, Europe. As I was telling you, the first call will be launched on the 1st of April 2019. So get ready. I'm not giving you all the information about the call today, but I give you some basic information so that you can start thinking about it. So first of all, who can apply? The applicant, the main beneficiary, has to be an innovative SMEs, including young companies, startups uh, from any sector looking to compete and start business in new emerging markets around the world. So you have to be established in a EU member state or in Horizon 2020 associate country. What does it mean? We have in our guidelines the full list of countries that uh, fall under this definition. Uh, and uh, here is the third and very important point is that the project must specify a partner entity, a subcontractor from the VAP focused country or countries. So you need to already mention at proposal stage the partner you want to work with. We have heard now about uh, uh, the two soft lending hubs of enriching Brazil. Well, these organizations themselves could be your partner for example, or maybe one of their companies. The call, as I was telling you, will be launched in a few weeks time, 1st of April, and will be open for two months. So deadline is the 31st of, April, of May. VAPs, what does it mean? Well, viability assessment projects are a comprehensive, balanced and coherent set of preliminary technical market, legal and socio-economic assessments uh, intended to validate the viability of international innovative businesses solutions along emerging global value chains. So it's really kind of a feasibility study uh, that includes very different type of activities, technical, market, legal and socio-economic assessment. Uh, these VAPs should identify and assess key framework conditions that may favor or impede the effective deployment of collaborative solutions and models in the targeted country. And also uh, needs to include a refined and viable definition of such business solutions and models with implementation strategy. strategy. So you're going to get 60,000 euro to see how feasible and how viable is your internationalization plan towards Brazil, for example, in this case. There are some must conditions, uh, must have conditions. So uh, the, the projects must uh, follow co-creation approaches. So feature co-creation partnerships with local partners involved as subcontractor. As I was telling you, you need to include a wide variety of activities to explore practical, technological, commercial, commercial viability of an innovative solution. Uh, you have six months to deploy your project. And as I was telling you, this is the first phase of a potential innovative cooperation project. Uh, this fund, the 60,000 euro grant, basically it's a uh, mm, Required also um, co-funding, so basically you uh, you need to submit proposals uh, that have costs of at least eighty six thousand euro in order to get a fixed grant of sixty thousand euro, and if you will if approved again you will receive fifty percent upfront and then the, the remaining fifty percent at the end of the six months uh, implementation period. And as I was telling you, it has to be carried out by SME established in the EU member, in the EU member state or in Horizon 2020 associated country with subcontracts to uh, local entities. Um, the call timeline, as I was telling you, two months window to apply. Then there will be other two months for the evaluation that will take place in two stages with independent experts, so from outside the Innovate Consortium. And then we have 
two months to go through all the admin issues, I mean, processes, and the grant signatures should take place uh, at the end of month six. Um, you have all information here at, in the InnoWide website, so the guidelines section. You have already the text of the call and the guidelines. And as I was telling you, there will be a specific session, more than one in the coming months, that I recommend you to, to follow to get all the possible information and raise questions. Um, InnoWide, in the meantime, is helping you to find the right partner. We have a matchmaking tool that is run through the so it's uh, an online tool, but basically the back end is, uh, uh, is made of uh, the, the, the consortium partners that through their uh, offices, international offices, their networks, uh, EN network, Eureka network, EN network, can find for the most suitable match. And plus, of course, also the other platforms, partners are involved in this case, for example, in Rich in Brazil. As I was telling you, there will be more info sessions and webinars coming up. We have an online help desk for direct questions. And indeed, the very uh, strong recommendation I have is that you get connected with potential partners in third countries as soon as possible. And you do it with trusted partners or trusted organizations. And that's why uh, I think this uh, collaboration between InnoWide and Enrich in Brazil, and also the other Enrich centers I was mentioning at the beginning of this webinar, can be uh, valuable partners for you. So this was just an appetizer. For more information, you already have available many of these information on the InnoWide website. You can send us emails to get more information. And as I was telling you, the next Enrich in Brazil webinar is fully dedicated to the InnoWide call. And it's going to take place the 26th of March uh, in, uh, at 3 p.m. Central Europe time. It's one hour dedicated just to this uh, uh, funding opportunity. Uh, what I uh, recommend you is really to um, kind of merge a bit what has been uh, has been presented before uh, by my myself as uh, the as general overview of enrich and by rodrigo and uh, and uh, and andre and in a wide because really these initiatives together if you're interested in the brazilian uh, market uh, can give you a uh, better and stronger possibility to access this market, uh, getting uh, sounding connections, funding opportunities and networking opportunities, and then of course uh, on spot uh, uh, high quality services. Um, actually, I would stop here. Just want to mention that uh, we are now in uh, the accreditation, up in the process of accreditating more soft landing hubs. Uh, you will uh, hear about them soon, also on our website, uh, as soon as available. But this to say that today we presented these two organizations, uh, but through Enrich in Brazil, we can connect you also to other partners, also depending on the sector you're interested in, uh, the, the area of uh, Brazil you are targeting, and so on. But on the other side, as Rodrigo and Andre mentioned, also, uh, these two hubs can already help you getting introduced to other partners across uh, across uh, Brazil. So get in touch. And uh, I see there are some questions. Just one second. Uh, yes, uh, they are asking the contact information for Porto Digital. So if it's okay with you, I'm going to send uh, uh, you a follow-up email with uh, I will put the two uh, speakers uh, in uh, in CC, so you have uh, their uh, contact details. Uh, Andre and uh, Rodrigo, I hope you don't mind. I'll send you also the presentations that they shared to, uh, with us today, and also uh, the, um, the, the the link to the recording of the session. I have one favor to ask you, that it's to spend three minutes giving us feedback on this session so that we can improve this service in, uh, in the future. Having said this, if there are no further questions, I think... Wait, I see there is another question. 
Okay, no, it's Rodrigo saying no problem. Great. Um, well, if there are no further questions, I invite you to yes, get in touch if you have questions, if you want to uh, get any support from Enriching Brazil. And uh, uh, yes, if you're interested in this opportunity, the inner wide opportunity, and especially you are looking at the Brazilian landscape, get in touch because we will be happy to make uh, the connections with uh, relevant uh, partners and players. On the other side, uh, the call to action uh, for um, the soft landing hubs and other business support organization intermediaries is to spread uh, the word about this uh, funding opportunity because uh, it's true that European companies might look for uh, the uh, counterpart in the Brazilian uh, landscape, but there might be already some uh, Brazilian uh, research, innovation and business uh, organization that uh, is thinking of working together with a European uh, company and they don't know where to uh, find uh, the resources. So I think it's uh, a win-win situation to promote uh, this uh, opportunity on the two sides. And I shut up. I would thank you very much for your attention and your passion today. And uh, we stay in touch. Bye. And thank you again, Rodrigo and Andre, for your availability. Bye. Uh, it was a pleasure. Uh, I'm available for anything you need, Chiara and uh, everyone that's there. Uh, Rodrigo, it was a pleasure also hearing about uh, Sorge dos Campos. And let's keep in touch. Great. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chiara and Ray and everybody. Uh, I'm here. Okay. Disposal of everyone. Thank you, Rodrigo. Thank you, Andre. Bye. Have a good uh, afternoon, day. Bye. Bye bye. Bye.